What initially brought me to BMCC is that in 2006, I helped open a bed and breakfast in Brooklyn. And by early 2007, I realized that it was a career path that I was really interested in but didn't know a lot about. Um, and in June of 2007, when I really decided I need to go to college, I need to learn more about hospitality, more about entrepreneurship, more about opening a small business and keeping it running, BMCC was one of the only schools left that was still accepting applications for the fall. So I threw an application together, I applied, I got accepted, and boom. Um, so that's definitely what caused me to go in the first place, that they were there for me when I suddenly needed to go back to school. My major was business management, and I did not follow the strict track there, because once you're enrolled in the business management program, um, there are different pathways. You can go travel and tourism, you can go entrepreneur, um, you can take, I think, real estate. There are several different areas of concentration, and I didn't take any of them. I picked and chose um, from the small business entrepreneurship classes, um, from the general business management classes, as well as from the travel and tourism to learn exactly what I thought would help me most with the bed and breakfast that I was already running. I had several favorite professors. I owe such a debt of gratitude to Professor Wright in the English department because he got me over my fear of writing papers and that's a must. If you're gonna do well in college, if you're gonna do well in the academic world, not being afraid of a 10-page paper is a really good thing. So definitely Professor Wright. Um, also in the business management department, I have three favorites. Professor Ronald Clare, who taught me business law. He took something really complicated and difficult and broke it down and made sure that everybody understood it and understood why it was important. So that was awesome. Um, Professor Adamu, I took two classes with him and he consistently looked at how to apply what was already in the textbook and into the lecture in real life. So there was always, and how are you gonna use this when you get out of school, and why is this important, and what are you going to do next? So I felt like I got a lot of preparation for the real world. And then the very last is um, Professor Martinez Lopez. She is an amazing lady, and she had such enthusiasm every single day, and she was, always ready to encourage us and always ready to take us to the next step. So when I think back about my time in school, those are the people that stand out of really helping me to learn, but also really helping me to believe that when I got out, I really could go anywhere. When I won the, um, I think it was the Academic Honors and Travel and Tourism Award, that really was out of the blue and a complete surprise because I'd been going to, you know, five and six classes. I'd been working full time. I'd really not been paying attention to my GPA, but it was pretty high. And um, every year they look at not only who has the highest GPA in each department, but who is really um, a good example of their department. And so I think in part, it was my academic standing. Um, I was a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I was an honors student all the way through, but also that I was already in the industry and I could talk about the business that I was running. Um, I had a class come and take a tour of the Escape Guest House and learn a little bit about the entrepreneurship while I was a student at BMCC. I was a tutor in the Learning Resource Center. So I think they decided that I was a good fit for what that award is supposed to honor, and it really was an honor. Why did we decide to open a guest house in Brooklyn? Why this particular location? Why in 2006? Several reasons. Um, I opened the guest house with my mother. She had purchased this building as a three-family home. It does have four stories. It had um, a two-bedroom apartment on the top floor, a two-bedroom apartment on the middle floor, and a three-bedroom duplex on the first and ground floors. And she bought it with tenants. We moved in. I immediately moved out. I was over 21. I decided, that's it. I'm done. I'm on my own. Um, her tenants moved out for different reasons, and suddenly she was one person with seven bedrooms in a very up-and-coming neighborhood. Um, when she purchased the building in 2004, it was just on the cusp, and as the years went by, suddenly we're getting Starbucks. We never had Starbucks. 
suddenly we're getting chef-owned restaurants. Um, Restaurant Row on Smith Street was starting to really get a foothold and blossom. Um, more artists were coming into the surrounding areas and more people were moving in, but because it's a residential neighborhood, there's no zoning for hotels. So there was a need for alternate housing. And when she looked around at all that and said, well, I have always said I'm going to open an inn. I'm going to do this sometime, someday. Why not here? Why not now? And I blithely said, well, I've got a background in office management and administrative assistance. I'll help you get started. To do what I do, which is not only to be an entrepreneur, but to be in the hospitality industry, which is the service industry, you can't be shy. Um, I used to be, but you need to really be outgoing, to care about people, to always have a smile, to always be ready to drop what you're doing and help them. Because we're not selling products, we're selling service. And so it helps that you can be really excited when someone comes up and says, you'll never guess where I went today, or I have a free day, which of these five museums should I go to? Um, definitely being a people person, being detail oriented, and thriving on communication are all very important for me and my industry. The way we run a little differently than a lot of the B&Bs, at least here in Brooklyn and in the city, um, several of the B&Bs in the area are actually hotels. And we like that model of you are fully licensed, you're fully registered, you're doing your sales and hotel tax, you're taking everything seriously. Um, if you have your staff, they're getting their unemployment insurance. We do all of that. There are also a lot of B&Bs that aren't. And so you show up and they're not gonna serve you breakfast and it's just a spare bedroom in somebody's apartment or the top floor of their three-story house that they don't clean it every day, they don't take care of their guests, it's just here's your key, here's your room, good luck. So we really care about providing service. We really care about getting to know everybody who's here, what they're here for. When we have students who are here on internships, sometimes their family is in California and they're all alone in this city. We're gonna take care of them. We're gonna make sure that they're eating, that they know how to get around, that they're getting enough sleep and enough support. Um, when we have families who are looking to buy in this area and they've never lived in Brooklyn before, we're going to help them find the best restaurants, the best schools. We're all about making sure that everyone gets the most out of their time in Brooklyn and in the city, and I think that is unique. I think very few other places are going to take that kind of attention. What I've learned the most about myself as a manager in these last five years um, the first is that yes, I can manage, that it's okay to be in charge of other people and to have to help other people learn on the job and then take initiative and be able to make their own decisions instead of always waiting to be told what to do next. I've also learned that I'm not as shy as I thought I was. In high school, I would never talk to anybody. I was afraid. Now I'm happy when people walk in the door and I can say, hi, I'm Adrian. How are you? So that's, I've definitely learned that I have that level of responsibility and that level of outgoingness, and that's really fun for me.